Let me hear. Let us know when you're ready. Sure. Sam, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> <Let's start. laughs> All right. How's everyone doing? Great. Good. Good. All right. Um, I know this is a five-minute talk, so I'm gonna try to keep it within that time limit. Um, so my name is Craig Mary. I run Beacon Safety Co. Um, me personally, I'm a beginner in web development. Over the years, I kind of dabbled a little bit, but not a you know in-depth programmer. So with that in mind, uh, I try to introduce some JavaScript in here. Just, you know. Anyways, a uh, very brief history of the company and our first product, MatMeo. Um, it was born at Startup Weekend with a hardware prototype on a bicycle. And then we pivoted to an all software solution. Uh, the obvious reason was that we um, could not take the risk of building hardware. So we only bought software, and JavaScript was our preferred method. Um, the build requirements were plenty, and JavaScript was the only thing that could really satisfy our need for speed. The current tech stack for MapMeo was and is uh, still very, very cheap. Uh, anything comparable would have been expensive. Uh, to maintain and run. Uh, the result uh, in 2015, December, um, we released it, and it was very quick and apparent that you know users had no primary benefits to keep the app open while they were driving or using the bicycle. So I was like, well, okay, what's the learning? But again, this is a this is a hobby, and you know I didn't lose much money on it, so. Whatever. Um, so Ash, I mean, you guys know Ash, right? Code for SAC. He suggested that I uh, focus on sharper network effects. Basically, that means more stickiness to having the app open and being used. More incentive, basically. Uh, I did have a promotional run of a video for the new app launch. I'm not going to play it here because it's. I didn't really take it so good five minutes. So what is Cavalcade? Uh, basically, all the functions within MapMeo are in the background. And it becomes a text-to-speech and um, speech-to-text processor with a, a few bits of machine learning and other AI components built in. So they handle all that voice interaction. Uh, the focus is on social groups, uh, especially like meetup.com and like outdoor activities. So uh, think of it as a meetup mash with Slack, mapping, calendaring, and to a much lesser degree, Facebook groups. What platform are we building for? Um, I think mobile has started to peak, and we're starting to see VR and AR really take off. Um, and I think building for that particular segment for hardware is a smart move. Uh, and I think JavaScript is the way to go for those uh, hardware. The challenges with going out with JavaScript. Um, there's a lot of changes, I'm sure you guys know, and different frameworks and dependencies. Making it all jive is tough, especially if you're trying to scale out to millions of users. Um, at some point, we'll want to do an operating system on hardware, uh, especially for augmented reality. And the question is, can JavaScript handle all of this or play at least some role for the, for the user interface? I think the question, the answer to that is yes. Uh, JavaScript will always have a role. Why do we stick with it? It's easy to pull together functional prototypes or iteration for that new product. It's accessible to many people and it's super cheap. Uh, it encourages better web experiences and standards and could play nice with bigger teams if communication is crisp and clear. And the user experience will always win. And for me and the teammates, it offers the easy path to achieve great user experience. Um, some of the things we look at, artificial intelligence, mapping, messaging, IoT. Um, uh, some of the bullet points here uh, kind of kind of uh, do the pros and cons of 
why we look at each of these things in terms of JavaScript or, or the back end infrastructure. It is a hot topic, and uh, you know, I think you guys are in for a good run. Um, and of course, how much we use it will depend on the company vision and the user experience. Skill sets will come and go, but basic to intermediate knowledge and experience in JavaScript will go a long, long way. And that's all I have to do. Cool.